Hmm? Do you like this yacht? I'm purchasing it. Two million dollars? Hmm. Mm. With your current bank account, you can maximum pay for this. I will pay for this soon. You know, I found a generative AI model for time series forecasting called Time GPT mm -hmm. that I could use it to predict Bitcoin price. Get ready for retirement, my friend. Very soon. Did you purchase Bitcoins? Yeah, I maxed out your credit card. But listen, we're gonna be rich. This model is very promising. Now let me show you how I use Time GPT for time series forecasting then. Let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, this is the moment to get into Time GPT, which I call it Chat GPT, but this time for time series forecasting. Now think about it. We all have used Chat GPT, which is sort of a large language model for simply just predicting the next token, right? And it's still in mainly with nature of text data. But this time we have something that can be leveraged for time series data, which is called Time GPT. Yes, we are not going to chat with a chatbot here or get some text input and text output or prompting stuff. We are going to deal with time series data for input and getting forecasting for our time series data. Well, yes, you don't need to do any training. So the beauty of time GPT model is that it comes with an API call that without any training or getting to know the knowledge of machine learning, you can have the model with zero shot learning to forecast your time series data but before we get into how we can do this let's pause for a moment and talk more about what is this model so nixla i hope i pronounced the company correctly is in uh, behind this time gpt model and they have already open sourced some other uh time series forecasting models and time gpt one of the models that they have released that you can access that through api call whether directly from them or on azure that it will show you so they have mentioned that time gen one, which is the name of this time GPT is an auto regressive time series model optimized obviously for forecasting and anomaly detection tasks. So this really excels any zero shot forecasting by leveraging temporal correlation learned on billions of time series data. So they have mentioned that the model has over around 500 million parameters and they have used 100 billions of tokens or time series data from different domains, uh, let's say I think they have used traffic data, weather data, finance, IoT, retail, electricity, to get to know more about the generic patterns of time series data. You can even fine tune that with your own data if you want to, but again, the model here is as uh, yeah, the model as is can also forecast based on your time series input. So a little bit get into more details of features and capabilities as I talked. You can use it for zero shot inference. That means it comes out of a box and model with API call for time series forecasting. And if you want to enhance its capabilities, you can also optionally fine tune to improve the performance tailored to your task and data. You can get it API access. You need to just click on get API key. And when you have the API key, I'll show you the code, how you can call their model through API or also you can have it here on Azure. So for my Azure friends, if you have Azure AI Studio, you can just get into model catalog and search for time gen. You will see the models available with clicking on just deploy. You will get the API and can call it from Azure AI Studio. And here are the prices in case you're curious to know based on, of course, 1000 tokens. These are the prices with pay as you go. And here are some further information about the model and capabilities and the stuff that I talked about. And they have some sample notebooks for the capabilities that they have. Now, talking about capabilities, one is obviously time stress forecasting, which can be even multiple time stress forecasting. That means you can have multivariant features of time series data instead of just one for doing your forecast. And you can even add any exogenous variables. That means potentially if you have some external factors that can influence your forecast accuracy like special dates events or prices you can also include that as an exogenous variables that is supported by time gpt 
um, if you use fine tuning you can have your own custom loss function let's say root mean is good error is something that you want to have it as your loss function when you do fine tuning which is supported cross validation comes out of box by the solution for your validation when you want to do some fine tuning and you can define the prediction interval for example you tell the model I want to do forecasting for the next day for the next week for how many instances of your retrievals you can have that with different confidence level which is comes with a percentage and last but not least which I'm really impressed with is anomaly detection you can have also anomaly detection again with zero shot inference that can show you potential anomalies that you have with 99% interval that I will show you quickly in the demo okay talking about the demo here it is I have this Google Colab notebook and I will again add the link of this notebook code in Discord channel and if you check the video description there's a link to the Discord channel when you get in there's a section called reference you click on it and you will see the link to this code you can open up this Google Colab and run it by yourself and before I forget here's also a benchmark table released by the company that they have benchmark time GPT with some other well-known traditional uh, time source forecasting models and please note that this is the only one comes with zero shot experience that means there is no prior training needed to use the model and it's a generative by iOS model and as you can see there's it's clear that for uh, some potential time zones it outperform all the other models that they have benchmarked okay so what you need to start obviously you need to start uh, install Nixla which is the package that you need to have it in place for call the model through API and I have used this for downloading some crypto data here we're gonna predict Bitcoin price based on three years of historical daily data of uh, closing price of Bitcoin obviously Bitcoin is getting traded 24 7 so there is no specific time to call it closing date or time so it's just a, a specific point in time of a day that we call it on average closing price of Bitcoin okay so scrolling down here I am getting this data of uh, Bitcoin price from this source and just to check out what does this data talk about here is just the head for first five rows of data you can see I have these daily timestamps with uh, Bitcoin price equivalent of that here and then I just de did some renaming for DS column as date and the price as Y. These are the columns actually I want to have for my time source forecasting. And here's my key, which you need to get it from Nixla, or if you are using Azure for deploying this model, you can get the API from there as noted here. Okay, so before we do any forecasting, let's check out the initial data. This plot clearly shows the historical pattern of Bitcoin price from 2020 January all the way to January 2024 so this is the original data that we have again we have just one data point per day for all these almost three four years data all right so now this is the moment that we're gonna do prediction with calling it a client dot forecast the first thing is our data frame which is the one that we just plotted so this is our input and you're saying that we're gonna predict with this forecast horizon so h is forecast horizon seven means we're gonna have seven points of rows get forecasting and because my data was daily that means seven days of bitcoin price gonna get predicted and what is level level is the confidence level it comes with percentage so here i'm saying that with 50 percent 80 percent 90 percent confidence level so three different confidence levels are gonna have bitcoin price predicted for the next seven days and we just called it in almost two seconds without prior training I had this data forecasted for me in different levels so to just show you how it looks like I printed um, this forecasted model uh, data beside historical data this pink colored line shows the forecasted part to make sure we can make it clear we zoom out we zoom into the plot and here it is so this dark pink color is the original time GPT forecast and a little bit more uh, less dark shock uh, sorry pink colors are the one that comes with different confidence levels so that means for the next seven days this is gonna be the trend of Bitcoin price now in order to check or evaluate the model on how good it is in general for forecasting let's say 
Bitcoin price here as an example, we can actually run forecasting over historical data by itself. And as you can see, obviously the dark blue color was the historical data and pink color are the forecasted one by the model. And it did a pretty decent job on actually uh, forecasting the price compared to the original price. That That's pretty uh, interesting. Although I'm not going to here tell about the feasibility of predicting stock market or Bitcoin, but in general, this is just an example of time series data we are providing a walkthrough here. And not only that, again, we talked about time series forecasting, but do not forget, you can also have anomaly detection without any prior training. We just having the data as is. I grab my data and just set plot it. These circles that we have, these round shapes, are the places that model says these are potential anomalies. And as you can see, they make sense. There are some sharp points that has been captured on my historical price data. All right, so you can even later on add any exogenous variables. For example, here, some other cryptocurrency prices, stock market prices, other indexes might be helpful as an external variable to, let's say, predict Bitcoin trend, right? Those can be considered and included to the model for better forecasting if they help. And obviously, there are potentially some limitations. So they have almost used 100 billions of times to stay in different domains for having this generative AI model ready for you for zero shot model inferencing on time series forecasting, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna outperform all the models for all domains with any type of data. But it's certainly worth to give it a try without any heavy investment in advance from your resources, cost, data scientists, and heavy machine learning knowledge. So I think that's certainly worth to start with. And this is a production ready model, so that doesn't mean you have to be worried about training, evaluating, and validating the model as we know we do all for custom machine learning all right that was all about time gpt i hope you enjoyed the video if yes i would be very thankful if you liked the, uh, the video and make sure you share your thoughts in comment section the community thanks money is just an illusion there are many fundamental things in life that money cannot bring them for you resilience patience values character and honor Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take care.